Tax season has come and gone, okay? People are waiting for their refunds. Some people actually had it much harder than other people, unfortunately. And what I'm going to be talking about in specific is Atlanta, Georgia, all right? I'm actually going to show you all a video of this long exuberant line that was outside of one of the filing offices. Then I have a follow-up story that we will get into. But first, let's get that video played. This is the line. Of course, it's gonna be some foolishness. This is the line for everybody that needs to verify their taxes. And then it goes, it's around the corner. If you can see over there, it's around the corner. They trying to tell people to go home. They finna have some problems. These people been standing in line, they cussing, they fussing. They got that poor security over there trying to handle this crowd. I don't know, this, this don't look like it's gonna turn out good. It don't look good at all. It don't look good at all. These people, they is gonna try to tell these people that have been standing here. I'm gonna walk around the corner so I can show y'all. They is gonna try to tell these people that have been standing here since five and six o'clock in the morning. They is gonna try to tell these people that they gotta go home. So it's gonna be some They got their chair. It's coming all the way. I'm going all the way around the corner to show you. More people in line. Oh, they finna be cussing. Oh, he throwing up his hood. Okay. <laughs> Go all the way around the corner. They finna piss y'all off in the front. Because they trying to tell people. And it's down. It's all the way. You can't even see the end. Okay, so as you've seen, that was a very long line. I cut the video off prior, but the line actually wrapped around the building. And the lady who was talking, narrating, she showed, I mean, she couldn't even show the entirety of the line because that's how many people were there. And she said, you can see all the way back there. I can't even see the end of the line. We are going to get into it because some people may say, man, you see y'all filing at the last minute. Y'all wait until the last day. I mean, y'all shouldn't be doing that. That I mean, yada, yada, yada. Let's get into this story. Hundreds show up to Atlanta IRS office during Saturday face-to-face -face help event. At a scheduled walk-in event to help taxpayers at the Atlanta IRS office, hundreds showed up in line that was wrapped around the building for several days blocks and you all you obviously got to see a little bit of that most of the people in line who channel 2's veronica griffin spoke to had received a date to come to verify themselves but in some cases those dates are months away yeah, most of these people have already filed their taxes. They received a letter telling them they have a date to come in and verify their identity. But today is a free walk-in day. So take a look here. Because of that, a lot of people are foregoing their own date and they're taking advantage of this walk-in date or this walk-in date. And this line is wrapped around the building and for several blocks down. They told me that I need to verify. A written notice to verify identity is what drew Leslie Gabriel and hundreds of other taxpayers here to the IRS office in downtown Atlanta Saturday, or their already filed tax refunds will be held. I needed to verify um, because somebody may have filed that may have did identity theft or something like that. Um, I'm unaware of that, so I just had to come and show. Uh, two forms of identification. Gabriel says he used the same tax repair for the past four years, so he feels confident that his 2023 tax filings are correct. He showed up here at 7 a.m. to get near the front of the line of a 9 a.m. open time. He tells me it's this long line of frustrated taxpayers outside that scared him more than actually talking to the IRS. Saturday's event was for walk-in appointments. Some taxpayers uh, said that they have been outside the building since 7 a.m. to try to get to the front of the line. In a page on the IRS website, a federal agency said it had a series of planned once-a-month walk-in events to help taxpayers without appointments. It's unclear at the time if all of the people in the crowd received the letter about their refunds being held by the IRS pending verification. Speaking to people in the line at the IRS building, some of the people waiting in line told Griffin that they received letters asking them to verify their identities in order to get their tax refunds. This is ridiculous. 
Many of these taxpayers made sure to get here extra early Saturday. Oh, I've been out here since like a little bit before 8 o'clock this morning. I've been out here since 6 o'clock this morning. I've been out here since 7 o'clock this morning. Many of them had to take off work or bring their children with them to wait in line. Like this young mother who had to have her two-month-old son with her in line for almost eight hours. It's very inconvenient because this is my off day and I had to come out here. I've been, I've been out here since early this morning. It's, it's a big inconvenience for me. All the people I spoke to said they had to have their identity verified in person in order to receive their refund. The IRS said they were going to do this face-to-face -face event from 9 to 4 p.m. Saturday. But people who were in line tell me that it was between 2 and 2.30 p.m. The doors were locked and no one else was able to get inside. Nobody came out to communicate with us and let us know. Instead, they closed the doors early and then still make people stand out here. Many people were understandably upset. They started late and now they closed the early. Atlanta police were called out to inform people that no one else would be seen Saturday and that they would have to come back on May 18th. Because you already made me miss work. I done stayed online because I had to stay here. You tell me I can't verify online. I got everything else, but yet yeah, there's no answers for me. These are people who, some people, not everybody there, because they don't know everyone's situation. But these are some people who already filed and they got a letter in the mail saying, yeah, you got to verify though. And then they're like, okay, let me come. And then you got this long line and they're like, mm, well, we may be closing up shop. At the office, others said that they were told it could take up to 180 days for the refunds to come once they were verified. A few in the crowd also said that they had appointments scheduled, but they may not get to them until July. Filing is in April. The situation in Atlanta comes just days before the tax deadline. So you have people, because like I said, you don't know everyone's situation, but you have people there who they filed on time. They get a letter in the mail. Hey, Alex, you got to come back to the office uh, because we need you to bring ID and verification and all the other stuff, even though people can vote and well, and they don't necessarily need the verification, but let's continue. But you have this, hey, we need your verification or you're not going to get your money back. OK, so they're saying, hey, you're not going to get your money back until you do this. OK, and then everyone comes and then you all have this extremely long line and people are wondering, like, what the heck is going on? You know, um, and let's keep it real. Who was in the line? What color did you see in the line majority of the time? And obviously, this is Atlanta, so, you know, but still. You know what I mean? Are you hearing about, are you hearing this kind of thing happening in other places? You've seen Houston, and this is in regards to voting. You've seen Houston where, oh, our voting machines are broken. Oh, this is broken. Bro and you got lines wrapped around so people could just vote. You got lines wrapped around so people could get their tax returns and get their tax situation figured out with the IRS. But it, because if I don't do it, then I am in default. If I don't do it, I'm the problem. If I don't do it, I don't get my money. But you take, 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 take. If I don't do something, there's a problem. I want to go and vote. Oh, well, can't vote. Can't do my civic duty. I want to go and get my taxes done because I actually do need to get this done. Oh, if you don't do it, ah, you're out of luck, you know. Um, so this was a very unfortunate thing. Uh, so far, we do not know uh what happened to all those people because that's a long line and i don't know how many not necessarily tellers but i don't know how many accountants or financial advisors they got working up in that building but uh I, and i also don't know how long this stuff is going to take for verification purposes because let's say each person takes 15 minutes 20 minutes to verify that seems like an awful lot of time considering the fact that y'all got those long lines out there. But let me know what you all think about Seth's story down below.